Before she became a TikTok superstar and one of the most famous teens on the planet, Charlie D'Amelio lived in a suburban Connecticut home with her also famous sister Dixie D'Amelio and their parents. This property recently came up for sale at under $1 million, and it's the very same place Charlie posted her first TikToks, only to go viral back in 2019. Once the fam stopped splitting their time with Connecticut, they decided to fully commit to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. The D'Amelio family's current mansion in the hills is a super contemporary, trendy structure made of concrete and glass, and was last on the market for $5.5 million. Today, we'll take a look at where Charlie D'Amelio calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Charlie D'Amelio is a TikTok star, influencer and dancer who's easily one of the world's most famous teenagers right now. Born and raised in Norwalk, Connecticut, partly in that house we'll be looking at, Charlie was a competitive dancer for more than a decade before starting her social media career. In 2019, she started posting content on the video sharing app TikTok and well, the rest was history. Not only did Charlie's TikTok dancing videos go viral, so did her sister Dixie's, and they quickly amassed a massive following on the platform. Furthermore, Charlie became the most followed TikTok creator, surpassing Lauren Gray. At the young age of 16, Charlie is already a multi-millionaire and only banking more and more with a ton of new endorsements and opportunities. She made her feature film debut with a voice role in the 2020 animated movie Star Dog and Turbo Cat, and is set to star in the Hulu docuseries The Demelio Show this year. Charlie's other ventures include a pod podcast, book, nail polish collection, makeup line, and more. And let's not forget, she's still keeping busy on TikTok and YouTube. She's the first person to earn both 50 million and 100 million followers on TikTok and is often credited as the app's biggest star. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another celebrity house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. We're gonna check out the homes of TikTok superstar Charlie D'Amelio and not only the glassy Hollywood mansion she currently lives. We'll also see their suburban family home it all started at in Norwalk, Connecticut that was just sold. Here on this channel we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion, expensive items, and more. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As as always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Let's first take a look at the house it all began. Purchased by Mark and Heidi D'Amelio in December 2011 for around 800K, it was here in this spacious yet ordinary home that Charlie posted her very first TikToks, only to go viral in summer 2019. Located in Norwalk, Connecticut, a city on the northern shore of Long Island South, this home was super suburban, and we can see the picture-perfect lawn and American flag at first glance. Not sure about you guys, but I don't hate the classic look. The former D'Amelio residence spans 3,749 square feet of space, and the front of the clapboard structure is embellished in stone and gray paint. There's a long brick driveway and a stately porch with a column and rocking chair. While the premises doesn't look lived in at this point, the D'Amelios were splitting their time between this home and LA for quite some time. I guess before Hollywood was too demanding for the sisters. The unstaged interiors show up how roomy the home is, and there's a living room with large bay windows and hardwood flooring, perfect for family hangouts. Other main level spaces include a formal dining room and an open concept kitchen. Here there are stainless appliances and granite countertops, while it connects to the family room with fireplace. There are also glass sliders to the yard. The suburban residence offers 4 beds and 3.5 baths, and all of the bedrooms are located upstairs on the second floor. One of the three guest rooms boasts its own ensuite, while the other two share a single full bath, and there's even a bonus attic room on the residence's third floor. The master suite, which the Melio parents used to have had two walk-in closets and a luxury bath with soaking tub. While outside there aren't many amenities to wow you, just loads of grassy lawn space, the 0.59 acre lot can easily accommodate a pool as per the listing. Since living here, life has drastically changed for the D'Amelios. Charlie has had one of the quickest rises to fame and fortune in history, amassing over 100 million followers and millions of dollars in under 18 months. 
Now Charlie and her fam are based on the West Coast full time and have outgrown the Norwalk lifestyle. The Connecticut home just sold for $914,000 after two months on the market. Around May 2020, Charlie and the Demelios decided to move into their own Hollywood mansion. Last, listed on the open market at $5.5 million, it's believed the famous fam is renting it out for as much as $35,000 per month. The home, located high in the hills, is a trendy and super contemporary estate spanning 5,500 square feet and made up of glass, concrete, and steel. The blocky front of the home opens up through sleek frosted doors and once inside, the open plan space allows you to see right out to the back deck and pool. The removable glass walls throughout make it hard to tell where inside ends and outside begins. The double height entryway sports a staircase made mostly of glass with a rock garden underneath, and there's also a huge window letting in more sunlight. The common spaces almost all blend together with a living space that flows into the outdoor pool area with removable glass walls. The attached kitchen is white and contemporary with a marble island bar style seating as well as a wine fridge. It's no secret that Charlie loves coffee, especially her daily order, a cold brew with caramel and whole milk, which even made it to the Dunkin' donuts menu as the Charlie. So naturally, the high class kitchen has a meal coffee maker built right into the wall too. We can see some modern built in fireplaces also in this part of the mansion and a bar near the family room. A formal dining room also opens up to the pool, much like the other main level spaces, and it seems the yard is the focal point of the mansion. While it doesn't look exceptionally big, Charlie and Dixie can enjoy the pool with the raised spa and deck furnished with sun loungers. There's also an outdoor fire pit with more bench style seating alongside the pool. Other features inside include a cozy office, spa style bathrooms, and your choice of lavish bedrooms upstairs. I wonder if Charlie or her parents get the master suite this time around. The bedrooms look spacious and offer terraces with glass balconies to take in the best views. The master suite actually has walls of retractable glass on both sides for a wraparound terrace and another sleek fireplace inside. The master bath is massive, covered in marble and glass, and there's more than one walk-in closet fit for a celebrity wardrobe. While it might not be as famed as the hype house just yet, if you follow Charlie and Dixie, you've definitely seen plenty of this place in their videos. Even when Josh Peck filmed here for the first time, he said, is your house from the future? I'm sure one selling point was the sprawling floor plan as it's perfect for Charlie's TikToks or dance trends. While the Hype House has a cool balcony, Charlie's is even better it seems. It offers an impressive hillside view of Los Angeles and wraps around the mansion connecting two upstairs bedrooms. While some of you might have assumed Charlie and Dixie were living in the famed Hype House, they likely just stayed here and were a part of it. It was never actually their home like many other TikTok creators. When the Hype House became a thing in December 2019, Charlie and Dixie were two of the most famous faces behind the collective. Despite not living full time at the actual Hype House, which which is a shared mansion in LA for the biggest TikTok stars in case you live under a rock, the sisters often appeared in the Hype House content. This means they largely contributed and spent a lot of time there filming for their TikToks and more. However, Charlie and her sister ended up parting ways from the Hype House and now produce their content from the modern Hollywood mansion they call home. So now we've taken a look at where TikTok superstar Charlie D'Amelio calls home, so I think I'll wrap up this house tour. We not only saw the glassy modern mansion the D'Amelio family is leasing in Hollywood for $35,000 per month, but also their former home. While the house they sold in Norwalk, Connecticut is fairly ordinary, it's also where it all started. This is where Charlie started filming all those viral dances and pretty crazy how quickly things change. After checking out both of those properties, what did you guys think? Do you like their new mansion or is it too contemporary? I think it's a cool home to create content and perfect for the D'Amelio sisters. I mean, there's so much open space and the backdrop in every room of the home looks super cool for any videos. Be sure to tell me what you liked about Charlie's current house or even their Connecticut house down in the comments. If you haven't, I'd love it if you subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. We'll link you my latest video. So Elisa's missing person case, one thing that was a huge deal was a viral video of her in the CISO hotel. One of the staff, he goes up to check the water tanks on the roof. Long story short, they find Elisa's body in there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours we should feature next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.